What's going on guys, Midi here. Oh, have I got a tasty little Necromancer build for you? So obviously I've got the max damage one I'd done a few days ago. But you know, I was looking around for the builds and I thought, I've actually got one that I feel like is going to be quite good. It's going to be focusing on Evil Ash's two abilities. The first one, which is Skeletal Support, where you, you guys have probably seen this. You summon a bunch of skeletons to help you fight. Then you've got Skeleton Resurrection. So every time a skeleton who dies within the aura comes back to life. And I'm pretty sure this counts with the basic and elite mobs you put down as well. So we're just going to pile about 80 mobs on them with the maxed out skill tree ability of come back stronger so they come back with more basic health more damage and yeah it's just going to be ridiculous we're going to jump into a game is this skill tree going to blow it out of water well let's go into it all right let's test this out against the team with pretty much no name warrior ash a kelly a henry and a support ash pretty good team actually solid all this build it's mainly going to be infernal energy and then all the points are going into the basic and elite mobs we're going to summon as many as we can just resurrect them if they can cap the daggers or the pages i do actually like this map quite a lot so i'm going to guess the terminal station we're just going to go all the way down there we've hit three now so we can pop a few portals down and go straight over there while collecting the orb so we get an xp traveling while getting xp I mean, possessions, not really out of the question. I feel like this Kelly's going to manage her fear really well. The support Ash is just going to get that, get her fear down constantly and all their fear down. That's going to be pain. Where the fuck am I going? <laughs> going out there. I'm just going out the back for some reason. I'm not even looking. Oh, here we go. Warrior Ash. Not really the person I want to be zoning out. Just how tanky he is. So annoying. But well, I'm trying. Hello, Ash. I've been waiting for you. What you said you could solo me, eh? Well, come solo me. Is that a stamp? Oh. Oh, double poke. Triple poke. And then going for the ultimate poke. And it didn't hit him. What? I've noticed as well, when you whack him with the shield, it, it does moderately right damage, even though your arm's gone. Like, I thought, you know, using that spear has so much damage, but... Yeah, the shield don't do... That's like the same amount of damage. Right, oh, map piece over here. So this needs to be trapped. The fuck? All this. All this needs to be trapped. And they're all coming now, though. Oh, wait, no, what's Ash doing? He's just split up and soloed loot. I mean, oh, they've only got one page. I thought they had two for some reason. So, I do need to get some early damage on these. One of these mobs. Oh, perfect. Wandering the streets by yourself, Ash. Oh, this is where we'd get back to get clapped, yeah. Come this way. It was good to get like in front of them and start trapping stuff down. Always works. It's Kelly. I don't actually bother with Kelly too much. Look, you're just wasting your time. You guys have probably seen a video of me dodging about for about an hour with her. So she's normally the last target, you know, I kind of want to deal with. I'll possess, I'll try to wipe the team with them and then the possession. I think the possession damage is like how long you possess them for. Not how much damage you do, and then you know she just dies at the end. Use Trino. Hit their fear straight back up again. Oh, let's do a jump on them. Where's Kelly? She said she dropped her. Yeah, she dropped her. I think what they're doing nowadays is a lot of hunters just drop their weapon when they know their fear's too high. Oh, he's actually got a knife. Oh no. When they've got knives, you look. actually quite painful just want my basic mob to attack I don't know what to do you get a flute boy down low and you're going straight back over there for round two they are nicely huddled together holding hands as you should be playing survivors 
Unless you play like me and I just go solo every time. Map like, pieces up here. I actually like the fishing village. There's so many traps you can put down. This. Ridiculous. I thought I'd put that one down. I mean, I'm almost 10. They're on second page. This is really good progress for me. I'm ahead. I am ahead. Quite a difficult spot, and that's something really simple. Because I want to use my ability and summon all these mobs at once. We'll try it. We'll try it. Oh, oh this is not a bad spot. Hold on, hold on. Get one trap down. All pieces of the map have one here. The will all right, let's try this. They are not all right. I'm going to use my ability early. Here we go. Oh my god, what happened to the damage there? What the fuck? Didn't put down the piper as well, but pain. Yeah, I'm not going to lie to you. Kelly fucked shit up there. I've never seen her take down my that that quick. That was ridiculous. I mean, now they could actually just beam off here and get out. Right, nice. I don't, I don't know if they're going to leave Henry or not. Get in front of the car. Yes! That's the car dead. Nice. Waste more of their time. If you want to zone them out when they're in the car, just get in front of it. Right, round two of the cars. Oh, oh, that's it. Yeah, that's literally it. All you gotta do is stand in front of it. And it just goes down straight away. Just wasting their time. Look, what are they gonna do now? They're actually stranded. For some reason, my skeleton's trapped. Right. Only pokes on Henry, it seems. Ooh. Oh, one more poke. Here comes the ultimate poke. Oh! You know when you take that one, it's painful. He's just using his ability there. That's off. <laughs> I feel like some people don't know about that. Like, a little ability. Oh shit, hold on. Let me get in front of this. Ah! Oh! Oh, mate! That should have hit him. Okay, Ash has just thought, realised that, yeah, they need to get on that point. Okay. All right, here we go. Shit, eh? Right, here we go, here we go. Use the ability, the resurrection ability. This is so many mobs, look. All right, let's see if they can keep up with this. Oh my God, Kelly, though. Kelly's just beaming me so quick. I need to put the piper down quick. It's not far at all, but I need to put this down into so many mobs. They're all being rest. Look, they're all coming back. And when they come back, they should have so much more health. They're meant to, anyway. The Kelly's damaged, though. I need to try and get her fear up. She's doing an insane amount of damage at the minute. Oh, I've got the knife as well. Yeah, I forgot about that. When you've got the knife, look, you can just literally just keep going at them. Look, they can't do anything. But the knife don't really do that much damage. If we're interrupting, it's really annoying. Yeah, Kelly is so good, look. Just got him as he's doing it. Oh, come on! Yes, nice. That's perfect. Eight. Yep, get him. Come on, get the poke! No! Oh! Did I get him? Tell me out. Yes. Right. We've maxed like everything out here. Just Kelly left. 
she's actually going to solo this objective. I need to, I'm going to try and focus. Just getting the Henry down for the points. All right, nice. Uh, what's Kelly's fear? It's like moderate. I don't think I can finish her here. She's going to stand the point and they're all going to get back up. Oh, that's so annoying. Yeah. I don't have anything to fear her and she's kind of using her fear well. Right. Need to go straight back there again. Round two on them. I need to go right in front of this. Using the car? What's going on? All right, here he comes. <laughs> we get his gold. Oh, they're doing the old reef. <laughs> no! Yes! Wait, what the fuck? I just got... <laughs> I just got hit so hard. I just went through the ceiling. Oh, the pages is right there as well. I didn't even see it. All right. Pages of human flesh have been found Let's get by the mortal. about 50 Shred meters right now. But now, straight away spawn in. Use the ability. They're all going to get res back now. Right. This is so many mobs. <laughs> now they all should be coming back with like double damage. Even though... The Kelly is absolutely destroying me. Straight away with that. But the skeleton should just keep coming back. There right, we go. Right, where's, where's the Kelly? I can't, I can't even get the Kelly. Oh my god. Hold on. I don't know why I'm losing track of this Kelly. Oh, she's actually gone for the pipe, I think. No, you don't, mate. No, you bloody don't. Come back here. Oh, she's dropped her gun. Okay, okay. So she they are doing this. They're dropping their weapon. He's being revived. Nope. No, you don't, mate. Oh, you fucking going, Ash. Oh! So yeah, a lot you're gonna see a lot of hunters do this. They're gonna drop their weapon when they know they can't get rid of their fear. It's a really smart tactic to do. And I don't know why I put that there. She's going back for the Piper. I'm going to take advantage of this. She's just left her team to get rid of him. She's picked her gun back up, look. I think she's got legendary weapon as well. Nice. Just Kelly left now. Used a dodge ability here. I think I could catch her, man. She she could solo this objective. Not underestimate her for one second because she really can. I need to try and get a fear up though. Alright, nice. Still not enough for a fear though. Right, here we go. Oh my god, where was she? Where was she? Yep, yeah, nice. Get her a point straight away. There we go. I'm gonna just run as far away as I can. This should kill her, by the way. As soon as this possession's over, she should be dead. Yeah, she did. She did a legendary double barrel, man. No wonder she was like one tap in my ash every time. She's definitely dead, but I'm just going to waste the ammo just in case. Goodbye, Kelly. You are not going to be able to take this possession damage as soon as we come off of this. Oh, that's it. Out. I I don't mind that build, you know. I feel like if they've not got a good hunter that can destroy their mobs quick enough, they get overpowered. And then the mobs come back after being resurrected with even more damage. Same amount. And guys, that was the gameplay. Now, I don't think this skill tree build is that bad. I mean, the mobs are coming back with increased damage and health. You know, after everyone's killed them, it, it just puts so much pressure on the survivors. The tanks can't dodge. I think if you're coming against hunters, yeah, they could probably dodge all this and shoot a lot of them down. But coming against them tanky guys, they couldn't seem to keep up with the damage. When it comes down to like two people on a point and you're frying all these mobs on them, they just get trapped. And you guys can just copy this. I mainly just focus on the points on the comeback stronger. So three points into that. I put extra points into the basic units because 
you know, that is what you're summoning. You're summoning a lot of them. And then I'm just making sure I've got like health razor basic. More health on that. And skeletal reinforcements. So increase the number of skeletons spawned by Evil Ash summons. Irreparable damage. Probably one of Evil Ash's best abilities on this tree, I think. And then put stuff like buffed bones on so you increase the health and damage. Relentless Evil reduce the cooldown of your active spells. And, well, it's pretty good. Like, that is where it is. Let me know what you guys think about this build. Is it decent or would you rather just go for this full damage build where you're getting like 20% extra damage with a boss? I want to know. But as always, I'll catch you a lot later.